Close Calls, Stories of Survival on Ag Day is brought to you by AGI. AGI offers complete systems and solutions with industry-leading products to meet your needs. AGI has you covered. To learn more, visit aggrowth.com. On August 22nd, the rural town of Moravia, Iowa, became the center of attention. The community of only 600 is where a local man became entrapped in a grain bin while cleaning soybeans out. Farm Journal's Stein Morgan had an interview with the man who was just trapped three weeks ago. He says he's grateful to local fire and rescue, along with area farmers, who turned his close call into a story of survival. Beans on the north side of the bin were up to the eave, and I was trying to get as much as I could off the north side, but I ran out of green vac tube, and that was as far as I could go. Cleaning out a green bin is something Wilson has done more times than he can even count. So then I tried to turn around and suck some around the door so we could get another door open. And that's when things went bad. Wilson says that's when suddenly soybeans started to cave in around him. I couldn't ever free myself, but that inside door was open, the top one, and I grabbed a hold of it and there was so much pressure that it was all I could do to hang on to that door. With grain up to his neck and his hands still holding onto the door, Wilson had an idea. There was a stick inside the bin and I was able to like kind of lunge for it and with the length of it in my arm, I got it out the door about a foot and I was just going like that. And he finally seen it and shut, shut the grain back down. The call went out. It was for a grain bin entrapment. Ryan Moore is a captain at a neighboring fire department, but he's also a volunteer firefighter at Moravia. He was responsive, hanging onto a rope. There were a couple farmers in there that had gotten some um, metal up behind him so it wouldn't cover him up and had gotten a rope around him. Wilson was located close to a door inside the grain bin, which also made the situation tricky. So we had about two feet of grain between him and the doorway, and then it went up about 25 feet behind us. As soon as I started talking to him, he's responding with just a calm demeanor and everything. He's not getting his heart rate up. They just said, yeah, we're going to get you out. And as they tried to get the rescue tube around Wilson, the team discovered there was a problem. The green back tube was next to me, and that prevented them from getting the rescue tube down farther. So the beans that we were taking out, they were coming in about as fast underneath with all that pressure. It's kind of like flowing water. With him being so far deep in our tube, the auger had to be, had to punt on that one and do a little different method. So we ended up having to auger it and hold the bucket inside the tube instead of just augering it outside the rescue tube like it's designed to do. We did it a little different and it worked for a little bit, but then I think Mark come up with the idea, somebody go get a shop vac. Wilson was able to use the shop vac to help relieve the pressure around his waist, but they ran into another roadblock. Once we got him loose enough, we were now below our grain bin rescue tube. So the grain from the backside that was piled up so high started sloughing off under the grain bin tube. And that's when the team was forced to cut holes in the grain bin, the first across from the doorway. Somebody called for another grain vac, and now we're vacing the backside of the tube, tube from two different holes and it allowed us to gain on the falling grain. Wilson walked out of the grain bin just hours later, and with life flight on standby, Wilson was taken to a Des Moines hospital out of precaution. I had so many beans in my pockets up there at the ER, the, the beans were everywhere. And I apologized and they said, well, we've had this before, not that long ago, but you came out a lot better than the other gentleman. I was just lucky, thankful to be alive. As Wilson's close call is now a story of survival and one they'll never forget. Ryan, thank you, buddy. No problem. Saved my life.